So let's talk about, there were three checkpoints in the race. Um, there were out on roads that were optional at any point in the race. Um, so let's look at those real quick and all the different ways to attack them. Uh, first, so it was 29, 30, and 31. Um, 31, uh, I know some people actually uh, got that as they were canoeing. They, they pulled off at checkpoint 2 and they ran up to get 31 and come back. Um, to me, that it looks like it's about a mile one way. Um, so two miles round trip and you got to run uphill from the river. So it'd probably be uh, at least a half an hour to get uh, out there and back. So I don't think I would have done that. Yeah, so we thought we would save it for the end. It looked like it was close enough to being in the bike ride back to the finish. And I know biking on, on roads, if you feel good, is somewhere going to be between four and five minutes per mile versus if you're on foot. I mean, I don't know. I str struggle to do much more than 12 minutes, um, much better than 12 minutes a mile. And especially if I... If, you know, with the hills, because you're going up away from the river, it's always going to be up. So, I mean, the way there is not going to be anything less than 15 minutes a mile versus on a bike. You're talking just a few. So, even going three times as far on a bike is, is faster than on foot. Sure. So, let's look at the 29 and, and 30 and look at the options for getting that. Um, I know, so, coming off the uh, paddle at TA2, um, a lot of teams elected to get 29 at that point before continuing on to four, and some teams went straight to four. Michelle, what, what route did you take? Came here and went down Pettis and took Two Mile Road and picked up 29 there and then came back. My original thought was to just come up to Egypt Valley, but um, a quick look at the map at this intersection that seemed to be much flatter yeah. and a smarter route choice um, through here. Two Mile Road was chatter bumpy and um, pretty soft, so it wasn't much fun to get through, and there were definitely some climbs. Jens, when did you hit 29? The brief time we had before the race started trying to figure this out, we were just trying to swag out what looks farther, and I think it is. Our choice is we're going to be at somewhere around this 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 intersection. We either have to make a break down here with like a half mile, then almost a half mile to it. So we're talking talking two miles out and back versus if we leave. We pick up 30 on foot, which is really close to the O section. I mean, when you clean these three sections up, you're going to come be coming back this way anyways. We can pick this one up on foot and not have to worry about coming back for it. So if we leave TA4, we just have to do this little extra, and then we'll have to pick it back up and come back down. And then it's just here to here, which didn't look too bad. And I'm, so, I'm doing the math on this. I, what I don't I forget about is this part. But it looked like these were pretty well balanced. I'm like, why don't we just get to 4, which we did this way, and then we'll pick up 29 after leaving the TA up to here, and then come down, pick it up, and then back to this road, and then on down to 31. So it looks like Jens came through Seedman Park and picked up 30 on foot on the way back to the TA. Michelle, when did you get 30? We got 30 coming back down the road on our bikes on the way out. And even then, because I felt like we were pushing the clock, I wasn't even sure I wanted to go down there and get 30 that little bit and um, have the discussion with Jessica as we were riding to it. Do we have time? Do you have the legs? Thankfully, my teammate Jessica had strong legs. Uh, she was feeling much better than I was at that point. We were able to pick it up, and I'm, obviously I'm glad we did um, because that's the, you know, had we not picked that up, uh, we certainly would not have um, gotten first in the female division, um, but we picked it up by, um, by bike. And then at that point, you're scrambling, so you said, forget 31, let's, we got yeah, to at that point, to finish. Yeah, at that point, I wasn't sure what we had. You know, it's hard to know. I knew Honey Creek was hilly. I knew we were going downhill a lot, and those certainly felt good, but I also knew that we had some massive hills to climb. And uh, the other thing was, I wasn't convinced of my confidence going through here and not making a wrong turn somewhere or getting confused. I'm not terribly familiar with this area. Even here where uh, there was a sign here that said Ada Park and it pointed off in this direction. And we had to stop and I had to kind of look at the map and figure it out. You could definitely tell locals because they were just flying through there. But based on my lack of confidence in getting back through this, um, had it been a more direct route, maybe I would have felt like I had the time to go pick up 31. But I definitely didn't want to be pushing the, the clock too much. And as it was, you only had about, what, five minutes to spare at the finish? Yeah, there was about five minutes to spare. For, according to my watch, I felt like I had closer to three minutes to spare 
Uh, so we were definitely uh, going as hard as we could. When we got done, we realized we had longer than that. But Congrats to both of you for pushing it through to the end and your wins. Thanks. Thanks.